What's up everyone? Got the Box Lunch exclusive Stitch the Red One ride right over here for you. Thanks to my sister who got it from the store because I had initially ordered it online and then it was like in limbo for a week and then all of a sudden I got an email that said like it's been cancelled so that wasn't cool. But anyways when I first saw this pop I was super excited. I'm guessing you are too. So let's get this review started. Here's the front with a nice box lunch exclusive sticker going on there. Here's one side and the other side. Here's the top. Here's the back. And it looks like he's the only one in the series because clearly there's no other pops on here. And here's the bottom with the UPC. Now let's go and get you out of the box, Stitch. And there he is, guys. Now for those of you who don't remember where this came from, I have the scene playing for you in the background. This is from the beginning where Stitch escapes captivity and steals the police cruiser which they call the Red One. Hence the name of this pop, the, the Red One, I mean, obviously. Now Funko did a great job capturing all the details of this super awesome pop. They even nailed the colors of it too. Now if you're a Stitch fan, ooh, oh, okay, there we go. Now if you're a Stitch fan, then this is definitely the pop for you, hands down. But if you're still stuck in limbo like I was, have no fear because I'll show you all the stitch jacular details right here. Starting with the head here, you can see they perfectly captured the speed of the chase here with his ears and antenna flailing backwards. Now the ears are pretty stiff and not very flexible, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but the cool thing too is the ears are actually part of the main head mold. They're not glued on. The antennas though are glued on and they're pretty flexible too. Now you gotta love the facial expression that they chose for him here. He looks like he's having a blast running from the Galactic Federation. He's got a nice little smile on his face and each of his teeth are actually individually molded which is pretty cool. Now his head does spin all the way around but you need to lift it a bit to clear the back of the ship. Now moving down onto his body here, they nailed all the details. Now he is in alien mode so all his fins, tail and arms are sticking out. Now his top two hands are holding the flight stick. His middle two hands are typing on a blank control panel, and then you can kind of see there his little little feet are just dangling there. Nice little little. Oh, it's so hard to get a good angle on this thing. Now he's blue. He's cool. All so cute and fluffy. Now moving on down to his spaceship, Funko really nailed the details on this here. Like woo wee. The colors are spot on, and the red is just gorgeous. Got a nice little curve going on here. Got a little headlights too. Got the little alien take. Did it, what did I just say? And some cool alien writing, which I don't know how to read. They even sculpted the nice little vents here. And the intake is so cool. I mean, look, they got they got these little, little thingies here. They got the little bug, the, that, that color thing, and then the, the fins, and then the, the, the white, and the, this thing. I mean, whoa! And then take a look at the exhaust ports here, too. I mean, look at all that detail. They got those lines going on there. Then they got they got these little thingies, and then and then look at this one. Oh, this one's the coolest one. Look at the bumblebee color going on there, and then I don't I don't know. Is this I don't know if this is an engine or not, but it's really cool looking, and it's got a fin, so it's like a shark and then it's got little light bulbs here too they don't light up but still really cool but then looking at the bottom here you see the stand here i got to point that out first it doesn't come off it's pretty it's it's glued on there i mean you could get it off but it probably is going to break so that could be a plus or a minus depending on you know what, what you're looking for i really like the cannon port here with its cool bumblebee paint job it just looks so cool one thing i do wish though is that they had glued the bottom on instead of using these screws because it would have given a much cleaner look but i still like it it still looks cool i mean it kind of kind of looks like a disney parade float all right, now let's go and bring some other pops in so you can get an idea of just how big he is. Let's start with Headphone Spidey jamming away there, and Mr. Cool Cyborg there, and of course, the Fantastic Flash. And for a little big action, the Megazord. Hmm, interesting. The reds here seem the same. I don't know. Maybe it's a little darker. I don't know. I don't, what do you guys think? Is this the same shade of red? It's, it's really hard to, hmm, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> well guys, if you're a Stitch fan, this is a no-brainer. He's a fantastic pop with great detail and it's Stitch. 
Enough said. If you like this video, then go ahead and drop a like right down there. That'd be super cool. And don't forget to subscribe too if you want more pop reviews. Spirit finger. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.